zrobić. Alrighty, what is up lads? JP here from Schools of Gaming and do y'all remember that time when that really crappy film was released? Star Wars The Clone Wars and then a crappy TV show developed but you know once we got to season 3 it actually got good because you know Darth Maul came back but anyway there was a game that got released and it was called Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures it was an MMO and I think it was the second Star Wars MMO after Star Wars Galaxies and then Star Wars The Old Republic obviously took over after that and Anyway, this game got shut down around 2013, I think it was March. I still have a lot of videos if you go through my channel. I, I did love this game, and I still do. But anyways, um, I don't think about last year, around uh, July, I found out about emulator that was being developed. And I've been um, keeping updated with the emulator, seeing how, how it's been progressing. I've been downloading every time there's an update. And 10 days ago, when it was May the 4th, they released a new update. And this update is really cool and I feel like I have to show you guys. It is, it's pretty freaking cool. So we've got, um, they've added the new Starfighter mode. Um, there's a lot of things that just remind you of the way it used to be. Like I've been with the game since they've been tr starting to redevelop the emulator. And I've seen how little, like, graphics have, you know, developed into a game. Before it was just, it was just graphics. They weren't even graphics, they were just shades. They, you couldn't tell it was anything, and now the game's really starting to develop. I really like it, and I feel like I'm gonna show you guys. So, as soon as you start the game, it basically tells you to, you know, write a play, whatever. I'm just gonna make, make my character JP. No, sorry. Sorry about that, I actually had to, um, restart the game. Anyway, where was I? I'll make the character JP. Okay, let's go. So when you start the game, it'll... Uh, this is pretty much where you'd start when you, if you actually played the original game. Obviously it wouldn't look like this, it wouldn't have all this writing, but because it's an emulator, it's gonna have stuff like this, obviously. And now keep in mind, this is an emulator made through Blender. It's not gonna be perfect, so there's gonna be a bit of glitches here and there. Uh, uh, Clone Wars Adventures is back like a half-rotted zombie. <laughs> Alrighty. So... Let me try and remember. So we've got the Battle of Umbara here, which is a PvP area. You've got the Jedi Temple, I think, here. One of these two is Coruscant, but I can't really tell because the planet's kind of glitching out. Um, I'm, no, I think the one on the left here is Kamino, and the one next to the lightsaber here is Coruscant. So we'll start off with Coruscant. I'll show you what's in there. Alright. Okay, so this is pretty much... Um, Starfighter area, so I'll show you that soon, and you come over here, and it's the same way it used to be. Not exactly the same, obviously, it's still being made, it's still being updated, but um, it's getting there. Because I've, I've definitely seen this game progress. When I first saw what the emulator looked like, I was like, nah, this this is not going to go anywhere. But it's it's gotten here, and I'm like, yeah, this, this could actually be something. So I'll come here. Sorry. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me, okay. So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination and we'll get underway immediately. <laughs> oh, God, I've missed that. Um, actually, cancel. I will show you guys. Oh, wow. What's happening? It's glitched out. You talk to me again. So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination and we'll get underway immediately. I'll go back to the classic lobby. There is a lot of glitches, so you got to be ready. <laughs> um... I will go to person again, and I will try Starfighter mode. The Starfighter mode is the new mode added into the new update recently on May the 4th. It's pretty cool. Alright. So obviously it's not exactly the same as the original Starfighter mode. It's, <laughs> it's new, it's different, it's pretty cool, I like it. So, um, enemies are here. Okay. Gun separatists. Fire missiles. I think you have an unlimited item, so I'll just keep it sure. And if you want to like leave this, you just press escape and you go back to where you were. Uh, I'll show you guys this. I think it's just waves and waves of enemies that's coming out of nowhere. It doesn't really end. Ah, uh, come on. Wow, this is this is actually pretty hard. It's much more difficult than the original Starfighter mode. In the game. Oh, 
All right, whatever. Okay, so we're back. So that's the Starfighter mode. It's new. I like it. I definitely think it's a new, it's a cool new addition to the game. Uh, I haven't. I don't know what's in here. Let's check it out. Ah, okay. So this is um, this is the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. I'm pretty sure. Lots of different doors you can go through. Uh, yeah, you can also shoot now, which is pretty cool. There's one you can shoot. But um, they only have a clone trooper at the moment. They haven't added any new, you know, Jedi or anything like that. Ooh, I think I remember this area. This is the uh, cantina, I think, or the place we go to buy stuff from the vendors. It's pretty cool. I like this, and I'm. Um, I definitely hope this goes to become an online thing we can play with players again. Because obviously it's not perfect. I mean, look at it. It's still being made. But um, I definitely like to commend the company and the people working on this. Like, it's a really good job. Like recreating the feels of the original game. Oh, what the hell? What's going on there? Hey! Alrighty, um, well, it's been so long, I forgot, I forgot where to go. <laughs> Alright, is there a door here? No, it's, that's not a door. <laughs> and do I just, oh, okay, I come back, it's pretty cool. Yeah, before, if you fell, you just kept on falling forever until you reset the game. Ah, okay, that's the door. Um. Oh, okay. Ah, we're back to the Starfighter area. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for, so I can head back to some other places. I definitely do miss this game. I really liked this game, and I was. So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination, and we'll get underway immediately. All right, Corson. Oh, so this is Coruscant. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my shit. Okay. I definitely do miss this game, like I was saying. Like, this was one of my favorite Star Wars games, and it still is, and it's a shame. So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination, and we'll get underway. Camino is the new planet that they've been working on. It's not new, it's from the game, but, um, as you can tell, it's not, it's not as flushed out as the other ones. It's pretty much, it's, it's just Camino. There's not much to do here. Um, just walk around, it's, it's a pretty big area, so I'm not going to go to the inside. I'm not going to find back. Is there a way back? I hope there is. I don't know. Oh boy, am I stuck on Camino? Alright, is there a way to like, no? Am I stuck on Camino? Okay, I guess I'll just explore Camino while I speak. Um, oh, the blaster shot. So I definitely do hope they add some Jedi. I want to see some Jedi, some new characters, I think we can make a really like character. I definitely want this to go online, I want this to go online, because I like the cinema, it was fun to interact with people, it wasn't very story based, so like, you didn't have to constantly be stressed finishing your story and all that, you could just jump on, kick back with some friends, you know, make your, I think there was a build your own house kind of thing, it was pretty cool, and it was really good, I like. oh wow, this place is really big. I think this is one of my favorite things about Clone Wars TV series. It was a really good show towards the end, and I enjoyed it. But this game was what made it for me. All the other Star Wars Clone Wars games were really crappy. I, I didn't like the public heroes; it was boring. I thought it would be as good as this. But it's not. This, this one was really good. Um, and by the way, don't try zooming in and out. Well, I don't know, me on a laptop, it's really bad and it just kind of wrecks everything. So just don't, don't zoom in, don't zoom out. Just <laughs> play however it gives it to you. Like I was saying, Clone Wars is pretty good. I do like Star Wars Rebels a lot more than Clone Wars. I reckon the way the show is starting off, Epic Four gets in. It's a lot more interesting and I, mean, I find it better than Clone Wars. The cliffhangers are more interesting, the story is getting somewhere. But there haven't been a lot of to um, Rebels games besides that Recon Missions one. Um, I, I do hope they make something out of Rebels, like Star Wars Rebels Adventures, just similar to this, where you can play online with people and shit. But obviously we don't know where it's going, and I know Visceral Gaming is, Visceral is working on an RPG, and a lot of people have been rumoring it might be Knights of the Old Republic 3, which would be pretty cool, but I, I don't feel like it's going to happen anytime soon. It's just, Knights of the Old Republic 3 feels like a very big fantasy, because everyone wants it, I want it, 
I don't think Disney's going to do that, go with that idea. So, for now we can just keep our hopes up, keep our hopes up. Could be just some really good RPG. We don't really need much of a problem with we just need a good Star Wars game. There's really any good Star Wars games out there. All the good Star Wars games are the old Republic and all the old ones. KOTOR, KOTOR 2, Jedi Outcast and the rest, just, you know, I don't know, I don't really like them. The old ones are unplayable, especially if you have 10, and, you know, things like Jedi Outcast, soon you won't be able to play those on the new uh, computers that are coming out. So the only thing you'll be left with is the old public and the Force Unleashed. Like, uh, I don't, I don't hate them, just, they look different. So, um, I'm going to end the video, and I'm going to restart it so I can show you the Jedi Temple, because I don't think anyone can be able to show you the Jedi Temple from here, because there's no way to leave it now, so I will be right back in a second. Alrighty, I am back, I made a new character, and, okay, I'm back in the starting menu. So we've seen, we've seen Coruscant, we've seen Kamino. Uh, I'll go into the Jedi, I'll go into the Battle of Umbara, then I'll keep the Jedi Temple for last. The Battle of Umbara was a PvP area in the original game, and it was one of my favourite areas, just go in, kill some droids, you know, I love this, this was one of my favourite places in the entire game. And when this emulator was first being developed, it did not look as good, like this base here, no, that that logo was not there, those, we barely even had any chairs or tables, not, nothing looked this good. It's definitely gotten somewhere since the production first started for this emulator, and keep in mind this is made through Blender, and it was a Blender app you actually had to go through Blender to play it. Now it's an actual app, obviously made through Blender, but it's, you know, it's an app. So you can actually play it without having to go through Blender, which is really cool. And obviously Umbara doesn't look great. I mean, it just looks like a Tatooine in night. Oh, look, it's, it's glitchy, but it's an, it's an emulator and it's still being designed. And it's never gonna be like the original Clone Wars adventures. Um, I think the producer said that it's, it's not gonna be the same. Things are gonna change. It's just, it's just um, to bring back some of the old nostalgic memories we had playing the game. And I, I do appreciate that, it's really cool. Umbara, the base here, looks pretty cool. If you go out there, it's just it's just a sandbox. It's never-ending, I doubt it. So, you're not, it's not that much to be done over here. I'll see if I, if I can find a way back. If I can't find a way back, I'm going to end the video, make another character, and then I will um, show you the Jedi Temple. Anyways, um, is there a way to go back? Come on, tell me there's a way to go back. Jump over here. No. Maybe there is a way to go back, I just can't remember. Walk through something. Wait, there's a hole there in the wall. Maybe that's the one. Is it? Gone. No. I'm pretty sure there's a way to go back, but maybe they took it out in the new update. Because I remember leaving this place without having to exit the game. You know, once they added a way to travel around this, like, map without having to exit the game, then it'll be really good, because ever since I started playing, or keeping up to date with the new updates, it's pretty much just running around, exploring, and then exiting the game, or finding a way back to the main menu to try a new map, and I don't think there's going to be any way out of this place, is there? Come on, find something, please, I don't want to, I think I'm going to have to. Alright, so I'll be back in just a sec again. <laughs> Alright, I have made... The last character, hopefully, and I will go through the Jedi Temple, have a one more look around here, you know, look how pretty the place is, sky and all that. Alright, I'll go into the Jedi Temple. The Jedi Temple is possibly one of my favourite places in the game. It's just a room inside Coruscant, I'm pretty sure. It's just, I don't think it's a Jedi Temple, it's just kind of like the Enclave area. Like the, the Council Chambers. I like this. There's been a lot of uh, Council Chambers mods. If anyone's played Knights of the Old Republic 2, there's a Coruscant mod. And the whole point of the Coruscant mod... Oh, it's glitchy, it's annoying. Um, the whole point of the Coruscant mod was just to go back and see the Council Chambers. The Council Chambers is a big thing for Star Wars lore. Everyone seems to like the Council Chambers. I think they're pretty cool. I like the Jedi Council. You either hate the prequels because of what they did to the originals, or you just don't mind them the way I do. I don't mind them. I think they're pretty cool. And this is the council chambers, and uh, shoot, let's shoot some shit. We still can... Oh, there we go. Let's try to shoot that guy. Can we shoot that guy? Probably won't do anything, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, we won't do anything. Alright, so that's a door. Okay, here we go. And... Ah, we're back to the canteen area. You do get lost a lot. I mean, I get lost a lot. Maybe it's because I only played this game for a brief amount of time before I, um, before it got cancelled. I mean, I knew about it, and I really wanted to play it, but it got cancelled. Um, I just kind of played it. 
after the game was pretty much finished. I was there for when the game ended, and I was so upset when it was over because I wanted to play it some more. I liked the Jedi lightsaber jewels; they were awesome. The dark side jewels; everything in the game was really cool. <coughs> um, and you go back to the Jedi. Yeah, this area. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. I think I've seen every room in this game. It's all kind of the same. Maybe they'll bring back some more mini games. I like. I do like the Starfighter idea. It's pretty cool. Oh. What's this? Okay, this is probably still like a map in design or something. There is a cantina somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's a cantina. If I can find a way back to it. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go through the door here. That's not a door. That's a door. That's a door. There we go. There's a cantina somewhere. Okay, if I went to the one on the left there, maybe the one on the right is a cantina. Because I'm certain there's a cantina. And I always go into the cantina. It's probably one of my favorite maps in the game. Uh, yeah, there it is. Woo! I missed this place. Ah, this boat. This boat, bro. Oh, I'll see you guys for you too. Alright, this is grand, guys. I have enjoyed making this video for you. I will keep you updated on the new updates and more follow the channels. Especially the simulator. And I hope this game is going to come to life on one so day. I'm going to play with you guys here in the show. We're gonna all kick back, you know, take a house together, and kick back and shit. Alright, so, grand guys, this is Jay from Super Baby, and we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. guys, um, if you do want to try this game, I will leave a link in the description below um, to the site where you can download the game. It's called the May the 4th update. There's a lot of updates, but just look for the. Uh, May the 4th, it literally has the date on it, it should be there, it should be the first one as well, and um, if you do want to go and check for updates, you can always go back on their blog site, and they pretty much will upload any um, any update they have in the game, they do have a lot of the previous ones, so if you want to see what the game was like before they released this version, you can go back, you can check it out for yourself, and, you know, I will leave it in the description below, and I'm out, may all your gaming be exquisite gaming, farewell.